And so the great city of Dunpatrick has found itself at the centre of conflict once again. With banners being waved by men from Northumbria and Maid upon its walls, the armies within prepare a hasty defence against something terrible. A great host has appeared outside its walls. Dyflin and Mercia have brought to bear thousands of troops, siege equipment and even ships to crush these defenders. It will be up to Northumbria and Mai to halt this advance and keep the city in their hands. But you will get to see it up close. Thousands of men will die. Thousands of civilians will die. Walls will crumble and ships will sink. And at the end, only one kingdom can be left standing. Welcome, Knights of Apollo, to another glorious siege battle. This time we're playing Thrones of Britannia, and this is one hell of a fight. And look at the soldiers are already burning the outside buildings of this great town that we are about to attack. Uh, but yeah, this is a great fight, very back and forth, down to the wire. It was just a great battle from start to finish. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it as well. So it is a two versus two. I am one of the attacking forces. I'm playing as Dyflin, my ally, which is King Scourge. He's a good, uh, good friend of mine. He is playing as Mercia. Got the great infantry of Mercia. And I, if you guys remember the Dyflin campaign a long time ago, uh, that was a lot of fun. So I, I'm glad to be back playing as the Sea Kings. Now, who are we taking on? Well, that's a good question. We are taking on North. Umbria. This faction is commanded by Mr. Brunswick, and I want to give him a huge shout out. He did the intro for this video. He is very talented uh, voice actor. He's a great YouTuber, and he also streams on YouTube. There's a link to his channel down below. He's also going to be uploading his uh, point of view of this battle, so you get a you know another point of view of the fight and see what was going through his mind during this epic struggle. So please, guys, check out his channel. Linked uh, his channel is linked in the video description. Now his ally uh, is Jackasaurus. He actually streams on Twitch. There's a link to his Twitch as well. Uh, so we got a lot of uh, entertainers in today's fight, so you should be entertained. Uh, but he is uh, commanding the forces of Maid. I believe is how you pronounce the faction. Uh, so yeah, their archers are already firing here, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a great fight, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, now I do have a nice uh, naval invasion. Let me show you the map really quick before we get to normal speed. It's kind of like a big eyeball if you look at the mini map here, uh, but it gives you lots uh, excuse me lots of space uh, to land your ships, and I like the fact that the walls were so close to the landing area. So our strategy going into this one was trying, or basically we're gonna put a lot of pressure on this wall and at the same time uh, drop off some uh, troops and try to get inside his base and attack uh, from you know the rear trying to crush his forces. So let's go ahead and do normal speed. We're doing a full on attack here. Look at those soldiers. They've got their shields over their heads trying to protect themselves against enemy archer fire. It is just so epic. Thrones of Britannia, the siege battles are amazing. Now, the game overall is a little bit of a disappointment. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but the music is fantastic. The soldiers look really cool. The factions are really cool. And the siege battles are amazing. So, I really just play it for the siege battles. Uh, but, yeah, we've got tons and tons of uh, siege towers uh, pushing to these walls. And that's our strategy. We're going to try to overwhelm their forces and uh, and just try to spread them out thin and, and break through somewhere in their defense. Now I've got kind of middle tier units going for the wall right now. Uh, and same thing with uh, King Scourge who's leading Mercia. He's got middle tier, low tier 
kind of just the first units to absorb most of that ammo and uh, try to break through this defense. Now he's retreating the archers, sending up the swordsmen. So awesome. Just like, send up the swordsmen. Prepare to the ramparts. And here we go. Siege towers are releasing the men. The little drawbridge is down. And they're charging across. And this battle has officially begun with the melee combat. So at the same time, I'm sending up my troops. The naval... Uh, the naval... Amphibia... Oh my god, words are hard. The naval landing. Yeah, okay. Well, I slotted that one. Save that for the cringe... <laughs> cringe playlist uh but yeah they're they're chopping off the troops and i have some eastman fighters which is not the greatest unit that i could have gotten for my sea like force my naval force uh but their job was just to get a foothold on the beach and bring down the enemy as i brought up the more professional berserkers these guys are mad men now, unfortunately, there's a little, like, funkiness going on here. These ships got to try to get out of here. The invisible men have to row it out. Um, <laughs> they got to they gotta get off the beach, which I'm really glad they have that mechanic because in Rome 2, the ships just stay there. It's really frustrating. Uh, but, yeah, it's a tough fight for these beaches, and I've landed almost everywhere I could. I try to overwhelm the troops on the beach, but these soldiers, man, they are holding. Uh, so we got a lot of retinue sword infantry, the Fianna band, Fianna, Fianna band, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. Uh, but yeah, they're putting up a good fight, and they're definitely better than my soldiers, and this is an uphill battle, and unfortunately, my men are already breaking. So let's do some slow motion here. Yeah, unfortunately, my men are already breaking. I didn't expect them to break so quickly, and I knew that they were going to win this battle, but with the help of the the berserkers i thought that they could hang on and we could like take it together with the help of the berserkers but unfortunately my men are already freaking breaking without the berserkers even getting there in time look at the berserker this guy's just thinking he's like pathetic you know like ridiculous they're already breaking uh let's go ahead and check out the wall battle going on um again very very intense we're you know the enemy the defender's not giving up an inch, and we're not even going to step back an inch. And it's just a very, you know, very tough situation. And unfortunately, we haven't seen any great breakthroughs yet. Uh, but the good news is that most of the defending infantry have been committed to the fight and taking on ours. Uh, we still have a lot of reserves over here, as you can tell. Lots and lots of reserves. Love seeing the men climb up these... Uh, these uh, Siege towers, it's just so awesome. Looks so great. And uh, archers are now firing in the back ranks, trying to take out their archers. who are also putting down great suppressing fire and killing. Look at this, they got a perfect angle. Perfect angle uh, to my troops who are breaking through. So let's go back to normal speed. So good. Just crushing my men right now. And uh, slowly chipping away at their numbers. Of course, we got our archers in the back trying to give them the taste of their own medicine, but it's just much harder having to fire over the walls. And here comes enemy archer fire. Look at this. Oh, man. So terrifying. Uh, back over here, uh, the berserkers have been engaged. The berserkers have landed on the beach and now putting up a fantastic fight and uh, finally, finally giving them a fight that's too much. Too much for them. Now, some of my units returned from breaking, which is great. The Eastman fighters. And now, my general. Yes, this is my general. Royal Haskaros joining the fight. I didn't want to commit my general this early, but I felt like I had to if I was going to take this beach. And taking this beach was a major, major part of our strategy in overwhelming the forces at the wall. So, I just had to send them in. And uh, there they go. Swinging those big old axes. So it's a it's a really tough, tough fight for this beach right now. I mean, honestly, this has been a tough fight overall. And we're just sending more and more troops to the walls. And they're just not letting up. They're just not giving up. And I was actually really shocked by that. Par again, 
we were expecting them to fall back to this position over here and defend the the inner part of the the city but they didn't and so let me slow motion here and let me explain why that was bad they didn't fall back and that was bad because we've been conserving our artillery ammo because we thought we were gonna need it for the final stage of the fight well there is no final stage of the fight it, the fight is right here it was the beginning and this is going to be the end so we finally finally move up the artillery and they're like look we've got to use this now and if we don't we're not gonna win this battle uh, so that's why we're now activating the artillery and moving up our reserves and uh, yeah just you got to give it you got to give basically we have no cards up our sleeves we got to reveal our hand because that's what they're doing and if we don't match them we will get crushed and we will lose this battle So he's got some swordsmen reinforcing the lines. It looks like we are finally making some progress here, though, which is great. Uh, but he still has a lot of healthy troops. Very tough troops. And also, we got a huge force here uh, from Maid. Uh, I am using my artillery, trying to soften up. This is the biggest target I'm going for because it was a little uh, clumped up here. So I was going to use my artillery to soften up their archers. And just, you know, because if you can kill archers, you can save a lot of lives. And there we go. Troops are breaking. The men are cheering. The defenders are cheering. Let's go back over to that bridge battle and see how this is progressing. So you can see I'm finally making some progress here. I even have... Oh, I forgot about this. I have uh, some javelin uh, javelin men who are going... Or some kerns that are going to support... This is kind of cool. Support the beach battle from the ships. Uh, but, yeah. Again, kind of used them a little too late. I was going to save them here. Uh, for the end of the battle, but I got to use them now if I'm gonna have any chance of breaking through this beach defense and There we go. Yeah softening them up finally causing them to break and look at the berserkers man charging. He's chasing this guy down Oh, he got him. That was hilarious There we go. They're pushing cleaning up the beaches And now he's gonna push over to this side as well Now I'm gonna basically send all my victorious units here and start pushing clean this up and yes even if we defeat this force we're gonna have such a small force here that it's not gonna be a huge impact once they charge over to this side but we're causing some issues over here we're poking some holes through the defense and we're gonna bleed right through those holes try to get around them look at these look at this got some Eastman champions a really good sword unit Taking on, let's see what it's. Oh, some Northumbrian berserkers and some sword herdmen. This is a tough fight. I don't know why you guys are cheering right now. There's tons of enemies fighting you. Like, what are you doing? Stop cheering. I guess it kind of increases the morale, I suppose. Mercia trying to break through here as well. But it just seems like he's so outnumbered that our best chance of victory in breaking through this defense is going to be kind of more over on this side. Also, I was keeping a mental note on these generals. So, uh, Maid has his general on horseback. Just kind of running around, maybe doing some speeches like, Fight, man, fight! Don't give him an inch! Not today! So, yeah, he's just riding around, giving him inspiration. And then here comes... The General, which is the Warlord's Champions. What an awesome name. The General of Northumbria, about to join the fight, about to join the front line, because he realizes that he has to. And I was so disheartened when I see his when I saw his General's banner. I was like, no! Because I thought we were going to break through there. But not quite yet. And here we go. This is the last of the Defenders. Now, most of my forces here are berserkers, so I don't have control of them because, well, they're going berserk. So I kind of have to wait for them to calm down a bit. We are burning some of their buildings, which is great. Uh, but I'm going to try to rush my units over to that side of the battle as quickly as possible. I've got my, my uh, javis coming up that way. Now, again, keeping a mental note on their generals. I saw his general in a tough fight over here. And then I needed to get my units, and this is this was my like 
this was great. I felt great at this point. This is my opportunity to win this battle. You kill their leadership, their troops will surely break. So I'm rushing my troops over there to surround uh, these warlord champions. Trying to get around them. More and more troops. It's, it's kind of crazy that we still have troops just piling in. Just trying to overwhelm. Mercy has got three units over here, and he's making some great progress. But Northumbria is making it... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mine is making it very difficult to break through here. And more and more reinforcements coming in because they are sweeping us over here. They're breaking our troops. There goes my artillery. Very nice. Hitting a lot of these soldiers. Trying to soften them up. Oh, yeah. Getting them off the battlefield. So we desperately need that. Northumbria actually not looking too bad over here, all things considered. So here we go. My troops finally, finally, from the beaches, get over here. My berserkers charging in. We must, we must break through here. And we must kill his general. But uh, the, uh, the general Maid is charging in as well. Supporting the Northumbrian uh, general, which is making things much more difficult. Destroyed one of their towers. More artillery fire. Oh, beautiful. Just hitting these guys, making sure they don't return to the battlefield. Really good shots from the artillery. But here we go. Northumbria is not done yet. They're sending in their depleted units. They're not. Oh. Now he's done. <laughs> now they break. Uh, but they're, yeah, they're trying to clean out this area. But, you know, Mercia, King Scourge, he's doing a great job of cleaning out this area. He's doing a great job. Unfortunately, my units are breaking here. These are my pretty elite uh, champions. They've got three chevrons. But it's just not enough. They do kind of cause these guys to waver a little bit. Yes. And you can see it's getting very, very close. Balance of power still slightly in our favor. Now King Scourge is moving up with the last of his reserves. He's got his archers firing at the enemy, trying to soften them up as much as possible. Uh, he's got his general moving in, the royal bodyguard. And uh, I also have some javis and a catapult crew. That's when you know things are getting really, really bad, when you have to send in the, the catapult crew. Just to send in more bodies into the fight. Look at the archers. Look at this. Oh my god. I love seeing his arrows come in. Supporting his infantry as he slices his way through. More troops charging in. Northumbria putting up a great fight. And most of my infantry has been destroyed and you can see that Northumbria still has decent it still has a decent amount of units which is going to give us a lot of trouble but King Scorch he's been holding back a pretty good force a force that could meet and uh, match the enemy forces and look at this the arrows are just he saved his archers for the very end and this could be game changing the general uh, very low here. But yeah, look at all the archers he has. I'm pretty sure the enemy, the defenders, used up most of their ammo. Fire! Just trying to soften up as many forces as possible. His general is outnumbered, but he's a very skilled, it's a very skilled, uh, you know, bodyguard. They should be able to take on these forces for a while. Let's see, what what else do I have here? I've got some horsemen. Oh, that's right. I had a unit of horsemen. Uh, I, I went ahead and told them to dismount. You can see their cav right there. And just decided for them to charge in. And it, things are so... Like, both sides here are just so close to breaking. You see, we're breaking units left and right. But is it going to be enough? And now we're about to surround uh, these Freeman archers. Oh, actually, I'm kind of surrounded. Here comes King Scourge. He's now sending in his horsemen that uh, dismounted. They're the Thane, Thane horsemen. There we go. We break those archers. 
Now we're taking on these Axemen from Northumbria. Let's go check out this really important uh, general battle. Very intense fight. Now we've got, is that my Berserkers? No, that's enemy Berserkers. That's gonna be a real pain to deal with. More and more forces from Northumbria closing in on, on our general, uh, Mercia's general. Very, very difficult struggle here. The royal bodyguards holding as long as possible. The archers firing as much as they can. Pretty sure I used up all the ammo of my archers, so I'm trying to rush them in. Actually, no, these are my javies. I'm trying to get my javies in the fight. Let's get a bird's eye view here. Look at what's left. It's so close, guys. The balance of power is dead even. Look at the number of men. Uh, we actually outnumber them by quite a bit, but they have a lot of quality left. Now he's trying to charge my javies. I'm going to just run right past him. Like, nah, forget that. You're not going to get these javelin troops. We're going to get the hell out of there. Archers, look at that. Archers firing down. And I, I told King Scourge, and I think he had the same idea. Just go for his general. We can kill his general. We can win this battle. And that's what it's coming down to. That's our saving grace. Kill the enemy general. He's somewhere in this blob, but it's been tough. It's been tough. More and more of these archers who used up most of their ammo. Oh, he's no. Oh, he's actually bringing up archers with ammo to get a direct shot at those North Northumbrian soldiers. And unfortunately, our uh, dismounted horsemen are uh, having a tough time against these soldiers here. And they do break. So that flank is lost, which is not good. My javis unfortunately break as well. And that's going to be it for my army. We killed the enemy general, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. Uh, King Scourge general dies there. And that's going to wrap up this fight. All that we have left are some archers. And you can just see how close this was. And I love the fact that we did not give up an inch. Both teams, both armies fought for this wall and they it's just it was intense so what could i have done better i think what would have been better for our forces is to use the catapults right away and really lay down the archer fire at the beginning now i i don't think that was that big of a deal because the archers towards the end of the game that king scourge was saving uh did a lot for our our forces uh, and almost turn the tide of the battle. Now with the beach landing, that was a disaster. Um, I should have mixed in berserkers with the crappy troops. I think that would have helped them out a little bit. Um, but I should have just tr honestly just tried to get more quality troops on the beach faster. And I think that would have saved a lot more lives. And potentially won the battle for us. But it was a great fight. Uh, good game to Mr. Brunswick and Jackasaurus. Really, really fun uh, battle, and I hope to do more Thrones of Britannia in the future. So let's go ahead and end the replay and see the results here. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty banged up here. I got 1,155 kills. Let's see, who did really well? My catapult actually got 104, which is a lot. Uh, usually artillery doesn't get that much. Uh, my Berserkers did great. Berserkers, especially this one. Um, a couple of, let's see, what are these guys? Eastern champions, they did pretty solid there. But nothing too great. It was a pretty even spread except for the Berserkers and these guys. So it wasn't great kills on my end. Uh, I could have done a little bit better there. My general did pretty well as well. Uh, King Scourge, here's his kills. Uh, Brunswick, of course, you saw his. And then here's Jackasaurus uh, doing a great job there, guys. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna wrap it up guys. Thank you so much for joining me on another epic siege battle uh, In case you didn't know I've been streaming on Facebook I've been playing a lot of siege battles for a lot of different total war games Everybody's welcome to join as long as you have a decent computer and connection because we want it You know good for the viewers who are watching you want the game to run smoothly uh, But yeah, check that out my Facebook page linked in the uh, video description Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the battlefield